What's up, y'all? Toasted Ted here once again. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode of Delivery from the Pain. This will be episode two. Um, since this is night, um, I guess I'm going to have to do some studying because I can't go outside right now. Um, let's go ahead and study... Wait. Yeah, high temp burn barrel. I'm pretty sure you need that at least in order to start your, your culinary arts in terms of uh, cooking better food and stuff like that. Study manufacturing station number two. Study the wooden bed. I don't know what our bed is called right now. I think it's like a cot or something. Like wooden cot. I don't know. It doesn't even say, I don't think. Yeah, it doesn't even say. But, um, like you can see how shabby it is looking. Like it's all just a bunch of pieces of wood on some cinder blocks, it looks like. Let's go ahead and make this bed. Um, I'll make the manufacturing station also. I wanted to show you how to make the bag, like the bigger bag, because you need manufacturing station level one, you need, uh, I think it's sewing level one, and then the bag will pop up in here to study, then you study it, then you exit out, go over to here and make it, you know, that's how you do that, but anyway, um, I kind of actually found out a glitch, let's go ahead and study that too. But it's not really a glitch, it's just like something that I doubt the developers intended on. But, um, it's more of an exploit. It's not really, I wouldn't call it a glitch, per se. But, let's see if I can make, ooh, I can make the sec, second level bed already, good. The better the bed, the better the sleep, pretty much. Like the, like that eye that tells you you need to sleep, the eye symbol there. That'll go up faster while you sleep on a better bed. So, that's the reason... To get the best bed possible but anyway an exploit when it's daytime obviously and you can leave you can uh, you go to the map which I'll just keep studying stuff while I explain it but you go to the map you um, go right back into the shelter and it auto saves right then you take then you go back to the menu the main menu with the back button like this one here when you hit the back button. I don't know how to get that through the game. I just have to hit the back button on my phone. But anyway, you go to the main menu. And on that, you'll see it says cloud save. And you just upload your current save to the cloud. Then you... Um, actually, here, I'll be able to do it right quick. But this is an exploit to get these ads refreshed, pretty much. Because you're supposed to be able to watch six in a day's time. You watch all six. Then... You go back to the map, you go back into your shelter, it auto-saves. I think when you enter anywhere, it auto-saves, I'm pretty sure. So it doesn't have to be your shelter, but it might as well be. Anyway, you go in here, then you go main menu, yes. You go to this cloud save. Would you like to upload or download? Because obviously I have this, I have a cloud save already that I've recently saved. Upload cloud save, yes. Wait for it to say uploading successful. Now this part I'm not going to actually do, but you go to exit. You know, and you go to exit game. You delete the game. Then you re-download the game. And then once you come back into this menu after downloading it a second time, you go to cloud save. Go to download cloud save. Then you go to continue. And when you get back in here, after watching the six ads that you're allowed to watch, you can go right back to here, and it'll say six of six again. Right now it says three of six, because they didn't actually do it this time, but that's what it does. And I don't it's not a glitch or anything like that, it's just like a game exploit that gives you pretty much unlimited uh, free supplies, you know. And, of course, uh, I looked at these question marks and, like, what they give you. You know, like, that's not a bad haul. Three of each thing, and they're pretty good, useful items. But then you buy the dollar version. You get 20 of each item. You get a bunch of gunpowder. You get more dynamite to make more gunpowder. You get, you know what I mean? One dollar. I mean, still, paying for something you can get for free is still kind of ridiculous. But if you have enough extra money, then you might as well do it. Because it'll just speed things up. But anyway, yeah, that's a pretty good exploit, so you could just keep getting... That's basically how I did uh, 
how I got the second level backpack in the first day, because I just watched all six of the ads, did the studying. Um, I think after doing the studying, I wasn't able to get the actual bag yet. I had to like use that exploit and then come back and watch one more ad, then I could build a bag. But either way, it literally took less than a day and it takes some time studying because you have to get the um, manufacturer's level one and sewing level one, like I said earlier. But yeah, that's uh, actually a pretty cool way to get free loot, you know, and not have to go waste your ammo and weapons or whatever else. But since I haven't explored anything yet, it's been entire the first the entire first day in my sh in my camp <laughs> or shelter, if you will. Found a house. Yeah, I'll go ahead and go in. But yeah, I don't know. Leave in the comments whether or not you want me to actually make a video showing, like, step by step what you do. Well, I mean, I kind of did already, except for I didn't actually exit the game and delete it and download it again. But that's the only part you need to remember. You know what I mean? Like, just saving it to the cloud. And then shutting your game off and reloading it and then doing that it won't work. Because it'll save that you'll already watch 6. You know. But anyway. Go ahead and loot this, see what we get. What is that, metal sheets? Yeah, iron, wood, and some these things that make more wood. Wooden carving. I don't know why those things are even in there. Like, why not just give us the wood, you know? Why actually make us dismantle it? <laughs> like, what are you going to do? Like, trade the carving for something better? I was like, no. You're going to use it for wood. Stab him in the brain. Hopefully I can get... Ooh, he saw me. Or he heard me, I should say. I don't know if they'll see me over here. I think I'm far enough away. Yep. Ah, I didn't wait long enough. That would have been a one-shot kill if I had waited like another second. But, oh well. Go ahead and loot this. More stuff to dismantle. Like that, that doesn't make any sense. Like, why even have the dismantling option? Like, why just just give us the loot? You know what I mean? I don't know. Just something else you can do in the game, I guess, is dismantle stuff. <laughs> yeah, let's see. But yeah, you see the little orange bar? Huh, you don't need more. But on the top of the map, there's a, a chest and a little, like, bar next to it. Like, watch, when I go up this level. That bar represents how much more loot there is to, to get in the current map you're on so i mean instead of like searching the entire map like oh i can't find anywhere else to loot i'm pretty sure it's empty just look at that you know yeah i should be able to get this whole house done because these, these are pretty small houses and it's funny too because both of the houses that you find i'm pretty sure you end up finding two houses like a gas station oh this guy's getting a little close Wow, he just turned right around, didn't he? All right, well, beat him in the head with my iron bar here. <laughs> but yeah, you find two houses, you find like a gas station, you find some other things, but I don't know, it seems like the houses have the most random loot out of all the different places that I've found. Like if you go to the power plant or something later on, you can rest assured you're going to get some like tech involved loot. You know what I mean? Okay. Oops. Yeah, see how the orange bar's no more? That means this map is empty. And this is the second and uh, last level of the house. So now that I know the house is empty, I can just go right back down. Don't even have to keep searching. Now sometimes it'll be out of loot, but... There'll be like a like a story thing you can do, which is in blue. Like like all the arrows on the map are you in yellow, or is it green? Or oh, I can't even remember anymore. But anyway, it shows you, then it shows the zombies in red, 
and I kind of wish it showed the lootable areas on the map, but I don't know. At the same time, having that uh, little bar on the top of the mini map kind of helps with that too, so you don't need to see the loot. You just kind of makes you search for it, I guess. But whatever. Go ahead and quick add. But yeah, um, that'll probably actually do it for this episode. Uh, next episode, I should be able to loot at least one or two more places, or at least the other house if I run into it. But yeah, uh, let me know if you knew about this uh, exploit for extra ads. And if you've used it before, and if you didn't know and you start using it, uh, let me know that too. But anyway, if you liked the video, leave a like, leave your comments down below, stay tuned for more, and as always, thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. This is Toasted Ted, and I'm out.